Now let's talk about the man who's at the center of this. Saudi Arabian defeat, you could call it. Rahil Sharif, a 2016 report described him in these words. The army chief who ruled without a coup. As a general in Pakistan, Rahil Sharif made the army more powerful. He muzzled dissent in Pakistan. He emerged as a popular leader in the country. Even after leaving office, he continues to overshadow the civilian leadership of Pakistan. So who is Rahil Sharif and why is he leading an anti-terror coalition of all things? This report has some answers. In 2013, Nawaz Sharif won back power with a landslide majority. Empowered by the victory, Sharif wanted to make bold moves, including reining in the military establishment. He picked Rahil Sharif for the top job. Rahil Sharif was elevated over two more senior officers. Nawaz Sharif would have hoped that he would be able to control him but he couldn't. As army chief, Rahil Sharif accumulated more power. He had unquestionable authority and his personal popularity overshadowed even the leading politicians of Pakistan. These posters are the proof. This banner popped up just before Rahil Sharif was supposed to retire. It says, a nation's request Forget about leaving, the people of Pakistan need you. Needless to say, they are talking about Rahil Sharif here. Around the same time, another set of posters were found in Peshawar. This one urged Rahil Sharif to take control of the Pakistan government, a clear endorsement for a military coup. But despite his popularity, Rahil Sharif retired on time. He did not seek a three-year extension. That is the norm for almost all military chiefs in Pakistan. Instead, he got a cushy job in Saudi Arabia. Less than two months after his retirement, Vahil Sharif was appointed to lead the Islamic Military Alliance. The present Prime Minister of Pakistan, Imran Khan, had made a lot of noise against this appointment. But now, he hardly brings the issue up. That explains the clout Rahil Sharif still enjoys within the Pakistani establishment. Even after retirement, Rahil Sharif's professional career has grown from strength to strength. He has built up a close relationship with Saudi Arabia's Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman. In fact, just before MBS was supposed to travel to Pakistan, Vahil Sharif had led a delegation-level visit to Islamabad to prepare the ground. Mohammed bin Salman has ordered an aggressive campaign against the Houthis in Yemen. Vahil Sharif is overseeing a coalition of 41 countries. The Islamic Military Alliance is even bigger than the NATO. Experts believe that Vahil Sharif's appointment as its head gave the coalition more credibility and Saudis more firepower. Reports say that soon after his appointment, Sharif engineered the removal of a top army commander. That alone gave the former Pakistani army chief a lot of breathing room. It is believed that Rahil Sharif is actively involved in the Yemen conflict. But so far, he had failed to resolve the conflict in any way. The recent setback at the hands of the Houthis will dent Rahil Sharif's credibility at a time when Riyadh is getting impatient over the growing quagmire in Yemen. Bureau Report, Vion, World is One.